welcome to our fabulous Guild Hall. This is the Council Chamber. I am Councillor Leslie Durbin and I am Madam Mayor for 2011. When people come into this room, the first thing that catches their eye, I think, is this marvellous chair which I'm sitting on, which was given by William Penny Brooks. The interior panelling, which was also given by William Penny Brooks, is most exciting and interesting, and it's partly medieval, partly Victorian, and it depicts flowers, figures, and fantastic creatures. At the end of the room are the inscriptions on the wall of the charitable trusts which were set up in Victorian times by various members of the town council. In particular, Thomas Cook, who was freeman and mayor of the council, and he gave £1,000 to the town, which the town council of the day put into a charitable trust which still exists today. Of course we have a tremendous amount of visitors that come to Much Wenlock and we're so pleased to receive them, especially here in our Guild Hall. We have visitors from all over the world. We had someone from Colombia and someone from Brazil who says, incredible. And over the years we've had many famous visitors to Much Wenlock, including in the 1950s a Hollywood film crew. Director Michael Powell came to film Gone to Earth. Uh, with the beautiful Jennifer Jones, written by Mary Webb, who of course was local to this area, and many local people were extras. This is the courtroom for the borough of Much Wenlock, and justice has been meted out here for 400 years from 1540 to 1987. Behind me we've got the stocks with Vic the Vile Vagabond who is a favourite of children for photographs and he represents our Victorian vagabonds who are photographed. We don't really know whether it was an actual stocking of a villain or whether it was a Victorian idea of a joke. There are also lots of nice stories about the time. There is, uh, we do have a nice one about a um, Tudor gentleman who was put in the stocks for playing his violin too loudly at a wedding after drinking too much ale. Which of us hasn't done that <laughs> at a wedding? We do have some rather fine 16th century carving in Latin, but unfortunately it has a spelling mistake, which in the 16th century it was easily put right by, as you can see, a rather schoolboyish way of correcting a spelling mistake. We have a wealth of beautiful medieval buildings in Much Wenlock. But for me, the Guildhall is the most accessible, the most well-loved and the one which is most well worth visiting. Yeah.